Numerous deadly incidents on the Rickenbacker Causeway have finally forced Miami-Dade County to do something to keep cyclists there safe. And tonight, a teenager who lost his father way too soon in a cyclic accident in that exact area tells us those new safety measures are more than welcome. CBS 4's Joe Waldman is live in Miami with his reaction. Joe? Elliot, that young man lost the most important person in his life, his father, and now he says he doesn't want other people to suffer the way he is. Yeah, life is just super precious. You have to, you know, be careful and love your loved ones as much as possible. Wise words from Sebastian Vera. He learned just how precious life is in the most difficult way possible. Losing his father, Yaudis, when he and another cyclist were hit and killed on Rickenbacker Causeway back in May. Visiting the site of the accident for the first time. My father and I, we were, that was my best friend. I would like him to be remembered as um, a, the great father that he was, uh, the very nice guy, somebody that helped everybody to succeed. Personally, if I had a problem or anything like that, I think he was the only person ever that I could have spoken to. Now, 17-year-old Sebastian has to find a new best friend, forced into becoming a father figure of his own to younger brother Lucas. Nothing, you know, nothing really hit me until I had to break the news to my little brother, which was, which really, really hurt then, and that's when it really hit me. A mourning process that will likely never end. Sebastian and his mom, Havel, are now finding some peace another way, knowing changes are already being made for cyclists on Rickenbacker Causeway. I'm glad that they put the barricades. I'm really, really happy. New barricades and increased traffic enforcement, along with new signage and reduced speed limits, all part of a $250,000 program just launched by Miami-Dade County to make sure this is a safe spot for cyclists. It's not just you driving, and if you mess up, it's not just your life, it's other people, other families that suffer. Like Sebastian, his little brother Lucas, and mom, who learned too soon the hard way how precious life really is. From this moment on, I could have the most fortunate life in the world, and I would still trade it to get my father back. Sebastian's mom, Hyvel, says she'd like to talk to the driver who killed her ex-husband. Turns out he had no insurance and so far has only been cited with a traffic violation. Reporting live from Rickenbacker Causeway, Joel Wallman, CBS 4 News Tonight.